So there you see, getting ready on the starting line, the pro runabout GP with 25. 25 riders in this one. Craft number 20 there. Guy Greenland from Australia, number 87. Hajime Isahai from Japan, craft number 79. Pontier Patpanit from Thailand. Next up, craft number five, Kaza Georgi from Hungary. Craft number four, that would be Francois Midori from France. Followed by craft number 18, Kenta Oku from Japan. Craft number 38 is Mohammed Albaz from Kuwait. Craft number three, Jeremy Perret from France. Number 84. Right, I'm going through this list and I don't see 84. Oh, that's yes, I do. Sam. Samuel Thomas Johansson. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Go no, that's fine. 66 there. Mohamed Berbea from Kuwait. That's going to be Yosef Abdul Razak on 11. Yusuf Al Abdul Razak from Kuwait, craft number 11, 116. That is Dustin Farthing from the USA. 52 from Thailand. Supak Satura. Supak Satura. Triple seven one. Lozano from the USA. Craft 81. Biley Cunningham, Australia. All right, you guys, we're getting ready to go for your pro runabout. This is going to be our first moto after a bonanza of crazy racing in the heat racing. A recap on that. Johansson taking the win in the first heat race, and it was Dustin Farthing with the win in heat race number two. Bit of an upset. Kinta Oku on boat number 18 actually had that second place spot, but got docked some points, moving him back into fourth, and the roar of those engines can just tell you just how fired up these guys are as they take off. So far, it looks like a clean start. And Al Baz on the outside of the inside with a great one. And that is going to be Al Baz on that inside, as I suspected. Because <laughs> he rocked it. And that is going to be Dustin Farthing from the outside. Those two are going to meet up. And it is Dustin Farthing with the whole shot. Al Baz in second. And a great start, as you can see Devin Farthing, his son, down there, the Iceman, watching him. And Dustin Farthing uh, with a beautiful start from that outside. Dustin was actually lined up right in the middle of the outside split. As they uh, were drawing balls to get this position, the ping pong balls on this first one, after this first moto, as you know, they're going to be able to, based on their finish, pick where they want to be on the line. And a great long shot as you get an opportunity to watch how quickly Dustin Farthing not only jumps out in the lead, but he also starts to open up the gap between him and second place. Al Baz, that gap is a 3.48, and we're only on our first lap, Ken. That's, I mean, three point whatever seconds, that's a long, long distance. It is when you have all of these boats tweaked out, like unbelievable levels i mean we are truly talking boats that'll it's not just the overall speeds that are over 100 miles an hour it is the speed buoy to buoy just take a look at this thrust from these boats when they're taken off from buoy to buoy it's insane yep so much insane that they've had to modify these seats take a look at the seat on the back all of these seats are custom made to help lock the riders in because it's not possible to have a typical uh seat come out from sea and have that be enough they won't be able to hold the riders into it 66 is up in third that is skinny mo muhammad muhammad berbea in third looks like rasmus cock hansen on the top five we'll get a confirmation on this riders in just a minute
All right, it's uh, Dustin Farthing and Mohamed El Baz, Guinea Mo, followed by uh, boat number 18. That was the French uh, Japanese rider we had been talking about in that second heat that was so fast. He's up in fourth, Kinta Oku. And then the 87 boat, that's Isahai Hajimi in uh, fifth. And then Jeremy Perez, your current series leader, is in sixth. And Supak Satura in seventh. And Yosef Abdul Razak off his boat. He has just been plagued this year with shoulder problems. Dislocating his shoulder on uh, one of the tour races. Although he's really quick to rehab right now, he is having to get a tow hook to get back to the house. Again, your race leader in the whole shot goes to Dustin Farthing, King D, followed by Mohamed El Baz, and Skinny Mo, Mohamed Barabi, your two-time World Series champion, and a gentleman from Kuwait who has one of the most celebrated careers in jet ski racing. In fact, he was the one that first put Kuwait at the top of the leaderboard here in jet ski racing. Fantastic racer, and he is a legend back in his country. Watching uh, the shot there of Albaz in second. And again, this uh, recap, you are watching the very first moto after some great heat racing. Let me give you those series points. Yeehaw. Uh, let's see, past uh, history on that. Skinny Mo actually took this win in 2019 and 2021, as I had mentioned, but right now it's Jeremy Perez from France with 118 points, followed by Francois Midori with 96 points in second, and Mohamed El Baz in third with 84 points. Yosef was in fourth, and uh, Walid Al Shoshani in fifth. And you know the rider we have not talked about, but he looked amazing in qualifying, was Francois Midori. And I have not seen him yet in the top five. Look for the number four vote. actually finished second in that first heat behind uh, Dustin Farthing, and I'm sure you remember that, that big charge back from yep. sixth to second. So Francois Midori is gonna be a late chaser, but you could expect to see him moving up into this top grouping. All right, get a shot of all the different teams down here cheering everybody on to include King D in the house, Dustin Farthing from the USA. A ridiculous amount of uh, race history for uh, Dustin Farthing. Talking about uh, Dustin, 23 times world and national champion. Dustin started racing in 1996. Owns a company called Speed Zone Racing. And he is in his own speed zone kit. <laughs> Okay, that was bad, right? Couldn't resist. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you're not going to get ticketed for uh, speeding out there. That's true. Good point. Uh, Again, the faster the better, but... Yep. Well, we're looking for this charge from Francois Midori on boat number four, a gentleman uh, that is a pharmacist in his uh, nine to five. That boat is uh, put together by Teddy Ponds, an easy rider. And just taking a look out on the track... Albaz putting pressure on Dustin Farthing. Albaz coming from that outside. There's Dustin Farthing. And they are saying they are halfway through on the laps. We have 12 laps in this first moto. And look at Albaz. Very signature racing style for uh, that other Kuwait rider. And putting on the pressure as they're coming into the top right-hand side of the course. Craft number 66 there, Muhammad Burbea coming back up. He's in third place. Bit of a slide around the boy a little bit earlier, but catching up. And we go into the top end there you go you see him speeding up the leader very close behind though Dustin Farthing Al Baz in second place Farthing is he going to be able to keep up as he comes around the boy there 
Albaz now opting for the inside option of the course, farthing on the outside. Albaz, is he going to be rewarded for taking this option? Albaz on the inside, farthing on the outside. Albaz coming around, farthing on the outside, and farthing is still in the lead. Albaz losing time, losing distance. Yeah, that he, he lost quite a bit, actually. 3.90 seconds. Excellent eye there, Ken. He was at under a second coming into that split turn. Yep. And then coming out of that, he lost quite a bit with that little tiny squid right coming on to the front stretch. Yep. Three second deficit now behind Dustin Farthing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kenta Oku, the Japanese rider from Japan in fourth. Skinny Mo in third. Albaz, who we've been talking about in second. Dustin Farthing leading. Uh, scooting back just a little bit. Very famous Japanese racer who's also taken a World Cup. That is Isahai Hajimi in the uh, fifth place spot, followed by Jeremy Perez, your World Series points leader, and then 52, Supak Satura. Where is Francois Midori? And I gotta imagine that a lot of these racers are wondering that same question, because I know that rider is back there and he is in the points. Jeremy Perez actually aboard uh, boat number three. And still, let's have a look again up at the course there. Top end on the right-hand side. That's the battle going on between first and second place. Farthing and Albaz. Farthing, oh, Albaz going wide on that. Farthing putting on the speed, Albaz falling back. Farthing putting more distance in time. Albaz going back for the inside option once again. He's got to really put on the speed, take those turns, make it much tighter. All right, there's our uh, shot of the Japanese rider. And I don't have a whole lot of uh, information on Kenta Oku, but he does ride for the Excel Group Racing. And uh, I'm fascinated. I want to know more about this rider. There is Jeremy Perez aboard boat number three. And actually, it was June Akoma that uh, was on that 86 boat. June Akoma has been riding up into the sixth place spot. So just want to give some credit out to uh, June riding for Japan and number pound one. Number one pound one. Pound one racing. I guess that's what this stands for. Great, great cool name. There's Isahai Hajimi on boat number 87, right behind Kinta Oku. And there's Sam Johansson, and that has been a move that we are just now getting an opportunity to watch. Sam Johansson took the heat win in uh, heat number, actually, excuse me, didn't take the win, but he was up in the top three uh, in the heat classes, so we're watching Sam Johansson. Yeah, no, I was right. He took the heat win in the first heat. Sorry. I was like, wait, I thought he did. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, Sam Johansson has now moved up into top seven. Dustin Farthing leading King D, and I'm sure his son, the Iceman, Devin, out there watching him from the beach. Mohamed El Baz back there lurking, and Mohamed has got to be talking to himself right now about those two minor mistakes had he not squitted out do you think he would have got around Dustin I looking at, at the water looking at the way they're racing I still think Dustin probably uh, would have maintained yeah he would have maintained his position it's it's very choppy out there at the moment and it just looks as though Dustin is willing to just put on the throttle yeah, he will ride on the edge, but only when he needs to. That's what I think is so much fun about watching that rider as he rides on the edge. And Jeremy Perez has uh, moved up into fifth place, as I suspected he would. But uh, what was interesting was that was Rasmus Cock Hansen's picture. <laughs> so they'll probably be adjusting that pretty quickly. They'll be changing that, yep. Unless he's got an alias, which wouldn't surprise me either. Well. <laughs> All right, uh, boat number three, that is Jeremy Perez up in fifth. I had a feeling he had been moving. 
Final lap, we're on to the white flag. We're into the last lap of this race. Still in the lead, Dustin Farthing. Mohamed Elbaz in second place. There you see a lot of distance between the two riders at the moment. Elbaz has tried a number of times to catch and overtake, but it hasn't worked just yet. We have to see what he's got up his sleeve, if anything, in this final lap to put more pressure on Farthing and actually move into first place. There you see Elbaz, craft number 38, following as he has been throughout the race. All right, those are your top three. You just got a visual on all three of those as we hit this white lap. Uh, for the white flag coming out, Dustin Farthing, he grabbed the throttle and control right out of the gate with that hole shot. It was uh, Albaz that had the hole shot on the inside. Dustin Farthing just carrying that momentum through. And Skinny Mo up in third. Uh, Kinto Oko fourth, a uh, rider that you saw there. And then it is Jeremy Perez on boat number three back in the fifth place spot. And Hajimi is uh, dropped off. He was up there in top five. Now it's Sam Johansson in sixth. So again, Dustin Farthing, Albaz, and Skinny Mo, your top three. Back just a minute more is Kinto Oku in fourth, Jeremy Perez in fifth, and Sam Johansson. Checkered flag comes up for Dustin Farthing in the first moto win for your runabout TP class. Well done. <laughs> All right. Had to keep you had to catch it's, your breath there. Yes. No, no, no. It's good. Dustin Farthing. Taking first place winner in moto number one. All right, Albaz for second. Albaz in second, third place. Berbea. Going to be Skinny Mo coming from, uh, well, actually, Skinny Mo just came across from the bottom part of the screen. That is Kinto Oku coming through from the outside. And coming through on that one. Kenta Oku in fourth place. Jeremy Perez for fifth. And Jeremy Perez, craft number three, likely in fifth place. And Jeremy Perez taking a look out at the crowds as he comes in. Again, your point series leader, Jeremy Perez, had a great run. And uh, Dustin is Kojita's hero, by the way, and Kojito not riding here in this class, but still, he's a legend. Totally agree. Thank you guys so much for uh, listening in on the live stream, and uh, that was the second of one of our top premier races, and a great run for those guys as uh, we get ready to work our way through the rest of these classes today. We've still got quite a bit coming at you. Junior Slalom, 8 to 13 Ski Lights, and Junior Slalom, 8 to 13 Spark. Pro Freestyle also coming at you. Dustin Farthing reliving that start in the race down there with the crew for Farthing Racing. All right, and we're going to be back in just a moment with our Junior One Lap Slalom, 8 to 13 Ski Lights. Do stay tuned. <laughs> 